So I was sitting at my desk a couple days ago, obviously working very hard, when I got a message on Discord from my friend Frank. Uh, Frank had a project idea he wanted to run past me. As soon as he clarified that it didn't involve OnlyFans or feet pics, I was intrigued. Now Frank and I are due to play in an Age of Sigmar TTS league with smaller friends, myself as Maggot Kin and Frank as Idenif. Now Frank was telling me he was going to buy the Idenif Vanguard box, similar to the one that I have for Maggot Kin. Now Frank and I watch a lot of the same mini painting content, so his project idea was a paint your army in a weekend type. He had 10 Namarty Thralls and I had 10 Plague Bearers. We'd each be allowed to paint one before the weekend as a test, then we'd paint the remaining 9 over the weekend and put it to a public vote to determine the winner. Knowing this could be easy views, I was in. I needed a plan. I wrote down what colours I was going to use and where I was going to use them just to keep myself on track. For the skin, it was going to be Death Guard Green with a thorny and camel shade wash, Death Guard Green again as a highlight, leaving the wash in the recesses, and Ogre and Camel for a final highlight. The exposed insides were going to be Bugman's Glow with a Carabag Crimson wash, Kizla Flesh highlight, and then Blood for the Blood God just to make it look better. Some of the spots were going to be Nurgle's Rot with a highlight of Aerial Yellow to look like your pussy. The Horn, Rhinox Head, Agraph Airshade, Wash and Doom Bro Brown for highlight. That was an awkward one because it's the highlights at the bottom. The Sword was going to be Lead Belcher, Agrax Airshade, Rise of Rush Tribers, Stormhost Silver Edge highlight. And the bases were going to be my standard swampy base of Nurgle's Rot and a good dry brush on the brown parts. So I got started on my test model, wanted to take time making sure that the skin colours and the highlights really blended together well, especially after the disaster of my Lord of Plagues, which almost gave me an aneurysm. Um, still really not happy with the way the skin colour turned out on him, he just looks like a ghost. Uh, but the Plague Bearers were going to be very, very greenish, so that was going to be easier. Um, I forgot to mention as well, there were a couple of rules for the tournament, the tournament the contest, the challenge, I don't know what we're calling it yet, um, paint off, got a paint off. So there's a couple of rules to paint off, uh, the first one was no airbrush, which was easy for me because I don't own an airbrush. Uh, the second one was no speed paints, which was challenging for me because I do love my speed paints. Uh, but, I mean, it's not really much of a challenge if I use speed paints, I could spray paint all my play bears in white cover them all in Plague Bearer Flesh and call them done. I could actually paint all 10 of them in less than an hour. Um, so no, manual paints, um, washes only. I was up against it. And here we are the finished test model. All we had to do now was chill until the weekend. So Saturday morning I got up pretty early, uh, my girlfriend works on Saturdays and I've got the weekends off so uh, I was up early uh, and I got started on painting. Now I know you're thinking Rab, painting 9 models of the weekend isn't really impressive, like I've seen 1000 point armies in 24 hours and guys doing 48 hour painting challenges with stay up for 2 days in a row. Yeah ok that's fair, like what I'm doing isn't impressive compared to some of them. But what I'm doing is realistic. The average person isn't going to complete a thousand point army over a weekend or stay up for two days in a row to paint an army. The average person wants to spend some of their downtime painting. Um, I'm not lucky enough to do this full time so I've, I've had a job during the week I've got to go to. Uh, I've got to spend time with the missus at the weekends and during the course well. Um, family, pets, kids if you've got them. All this stuff pops up what these guys do in these videos is cool and it's clickbait and it's great to watch and I love that content but you're never going to be able to do it yourself really, I mean some people might be able to but the average Joe isn't going to be able to do all that stuff so what I'm trying to show you is you can get models painted in the weekend but set realistic expectations at least Just as I was finishing up the base coats I was disturbed by a noise at the door this early on a Saturday morning, I wonder who it was, it was the postman, postman delivering a special package, what was that special package he was delivering me? It was a special message from today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. I'm joking of course, this isn't a sponsored video, but if there are any sponsors out there who want to give me uh, free shit like paints and minis, 
hit me up. Nonsense aside, I washed all the minis, left them to dry, and that let me chill for a couple of hours. The next day, the motherfucker was dead. And here's what actually came in the post. My Lord of the Rings Battle of Osgiliath uh, box set. This is for a future video, so we're not going to look at it right now. What we're looking at today is this. A post from Geek Gaming Scenix, you'll know Luke's channel if you watch any hobby videos, and I'm going to use this at the basin and it should hopefully make it a lot quicker. Back from lunch, and it's time to do some highlights. I spent my lunch wisely um, editing this video. I'm editing it in parts so that I don't need to sit all Sunday night and do all at once, so I'll do a little bit of painting, edit a part one, do a little bit more, edit a part two. I'm a genius, but I'll never be recognised for the genius that I am in my lifetime. Anyway, that's what I spent my lunch doing and um, setting off the smoke alarm whilst I was having a fry up because uh, I was cooking and baking far too, far too hot. So, highlights to do, then we're going to base them and we're going to leave them to dry overnight once I've done the bases. So this is my first time using the Geek Gaming Scenic stuff, obviously because you just saw me open it in the post, uh, but it's fantastic. Uh, not only does the glue remind me of primary school, not because uh, I sniffed a lot of glue in school or anything like that, but it just reminds me of uh, doing art glass and modelling and sticking your fingers together and peeling it off. Um, it's so easy. Like, the results are fantastic. I was a bit sceptical at first. Uh, I painted uh, a brown undertone, I painted some green dots, so I'm going to put some uh, of the Nurgle's rot in to make a swamp, but I just plastered the paint, paint sorry, the glue over all of the brown. Give it a, a wee dip, make sure it's deep enough. I think I might change my box because that box is too shallow uh, to get all the good stuff on it. And look at that. Like, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I missed a bit, so I went back with some glue. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely shocked. This stuff is brilliant. I'm going to be using this a lot. So it's five o'clock on Saturday night, and I think I have done enough for one day. All the models have been painted, washed, highlighted and based and my girlfriend is due home within the hour so I'm going to clean up, chill out, put some dinner on and we'll come back to these models tomorrow. There's not much left to do, I wanted to do most of the day anyway because I don't have much time tomorrow but just add some fresh and touches tomorrow and I think we'll be good to go. So here we are, Sunday morning, coming down. Who am I kidding? It's Sunday afternoon. Jade and I stayed up last night and had a couple of drinks. And since we're so old, that means we had to sleep till about 12 o'clock today. But not much to do today. Uh, we have plans, so I am working a little bit of painting around those plans. I just need to finish up the bases and add the, the technical paints, the Blood for Blood God. It's a little bit of Nurgle's Rot and the Ha Oxide and the, the Rust the rise of rust to the swords and stuff so just a little bit of painting to do today um, but that that's kind of the whole point I think I might have lost my original point over the course of this video um, videos like this are fun seeing how much you can paint over a short period of time like we love watching those videos of painting an army in a weekend or 24 hour painting marathons but it's just not realistic um, I, th I think if I did that I would sicken myself I wouldn't want to pick up a paintbrush for a couple of weeks afterwards and, and that's not what I want to happen to, to me especially but you guys as well like, I, I want people to paint and have fun painting and get their models on the table I've put not, minim not minimal effort but I've put a bit of effort in over this weekend and I've got 10 models painted I've got a unit done that's good that's good enough that's good enough for average you walk down the street unless you're like a competitive Warhammer player and you need an army completed in a short period of time you're fine like that, that, that's good, that's good amount of models I've painted. Yeah, they might not win any competitions, which I probably shouldn't say because the whole point of this is it is a competition between me and Frank, uh, but they'll still be more than usable than tabletop. Like these are these are good for the tabletop standard anyway. Uh, but yeah, models are painted. I've added a little bit of wash to some of them, so I'm going to leave them to dry, come back tonight, and we'll see how they look. So there we have it guys, a whole unit of plague bearers 
painted over the weekend. Now, I may be a little bit biased, but I think I've done a pretty good job given the time constraints. We've accepted the challenge from Frank. Now, it's over to him to show us what he can do. But judging by his test model, I think it's going to be close. I think I might be in a little bit of trouble here. And that's all from me guys, if you enjoyed the video, do all the usual good stuff, like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me if I've got a chance in hell of beating Frank. Keep an eye on Frank's channel, I'll link it down below, he'll be releasing his video at some point this week of his minis, and then you'll be able to really tell us who won this challenge. Until next time, take care. Why the fuck is this video over 10 minutes long?